Hello everyone, in this tutorial we explain how to create Python virtual environments in Linux Ubuntu from command line. First of all, let's clarify what is a virtual environment. Let's start with an environment. An environment in Python is the context in which a Python program runs that consists of an interpreter and any number of installed packages. Then, a virtual environment is a Python built-in way to create an environment. A virtual environment creates a folder that contains a copy or sim link to a specific interpreter. When you install packages into a virtual environment, it will end up in this new folder and in that way it will be isolated from other packages used by other workspaces or other environments. In every virtual environment, we can actually install a set of packages with specific versions. This is very important. Packages installed in one virtual environment will not be seen by another virtual environment or the global Python environment that is run directly from the command prompt. In this way, we can avoid issues with different versions of packages since some old programs might not be compatible with newer packages. Okay, so let's start with coding and with explanation. Okay, so let's open a terminal. Click over here and search for terminal. Okay, I will resize this window such that you can see what I'm typing and at the same time you can follow my manual that you can see over here. First of all, let's run these two commands. First of all, let's run update, enter your password and after this command, this will, this will take some time, let's run this command. This will upgrade and click on yes. Remember, every time you want to do something in Linux Ubuntu, it's a good idea to update and upgrade. Okay, let's verify that we have Python installed on our system. Here it is. Namely, Python comes together with Linux. This is very important. And what I wrote here is Python 3. Python 3 is actually Python version 3. Okay, over here I type which Python 3 and as the result I obtained this response. And this is the path to the Python 3 executable file. If you see something over here, this means that the Python is properly installed on your system. If not, then stop watching this video, install Python, and then start watching again from here. Okay, so let's verify our Python version. This is also another important thing. Let's see. Okay, here I made an error since while copying this version, this double dash was not being copied properly. So you can see that the Python version is 3.10.12. In your case, it might be different. Next, let's make sure that G editor is also installed. We can do that by running this command. Okay. Next, let's go to our home folder. To go to the home folder, you need to run this command, command where this cd command means like change directory and this tilde sign is the symbol for the home folder. Let's make sure that we are the home folder by running pwd. Good. Inside of this folder, let's create a subfolder called test1. This will be the main folder of our environment. Okay. So let's navigate to test1 and let's see the structure of this folder or the content. It's completely empty. Good. We will create our virtual environment inside of this folder. However, before we do that, it's very important that we run this command. This will actually install Python VNV. VNV is a command for creating the environment. And over here, make sure that the proper Python version is specified. Namely, if you go a little bit in the past, you can see that I run Python 3 version and the version is 3.10. Consequently, over here, I'm typing Python 3.10 and then dash VNV. In your case, you need to update your current version. Okay. As you can see already here, I already installed VNV before watching this, before actually creating this video tutorial. Okay, 
let's create the Python environment. We create the Python environment, or better to say the Python virtual environment by running this command. Over here, Python 3 is the name of the Python executable, dash M is a standard, standard parameter and V and V means that we are creating the environment and the name of the environment is and one in my case however you can give some other name as you wish okay now after some time you will see that inside of this test one folder there is an additional folder and this is the environment folder so let's go to this environment folder and let's list its structure aha uh -huh. you can see several important thing let's go to bin and let's the, let's see the content of this folder right this is the binary folder bin stands for binary and you can see several executable files over here now you can see that python python 3 and python 3.3 these are the links which means if you're running python 3 we are actually running python 3.10 now what is important to observe over here is this activate file this fi activate file will be used to activate the environment Consequently, let's activate the environment. I will go again to my test one folder. Here I am. And inside of this base folder, let's activate the environment. To activate the environment, we need to source the corresponding file. So what is the corresponding file? The corresponding file is this activate file. And we need to specify over here the relative path to that file. That is, we need to type source, then environment1 is the main folder of our environment, then we have binary folder, and then we have the file name activate. And once I execute this file, watch over here, and you will see a change. Aha, here is the change. If you see this in parentheses, this means that you have properly activated your environment. And currently, every package that you install, install in this environment will be seen only from this environment and it will not be seen from the global environment. Okay, next, let's create a simple file. How to do that? But before we do that, let's again run which Python 3. Basically, now you can see that when we are executing Python 3, this file is being executed. We are actually executing the Python executable file from our environment. And this is the file. Again, we are executing this file over here, Python 3. Okay, and this file is actually in the environment. Next, let's create a simple test file. Call G editor. And over here to save time, I will simply copy and paste the content of the file. The file will be very simple. You will see it later on. Here is the file. Okay, so what I'm doing over here, I'm importing NumPy as NP. Then I'm printing my first virtual environment. I'm printing a simple message. Then I'm defining two numbers. The first number is simple pi number. In NumPy, we define pi as numpy.py and it's pi over 4, b is pi over 6, then I implemented a simple trigonometric formula, c is sine a plus cosine b, and I'm printing c. Okay, save this file, close this file. Now, let's run to ru run this file or to execute the file. To execute the file, we need to run this. Python 3, test 1 pi. And let's run this. Uh -huh. After we run this file, we can see this error. Traceback, most recent call. It's written over here, module not found error. No module named NumPy. This means that this environment doesn't recognize NumPy as a package. That is, the package NumPy is not installed in this environment. And this is very important to keep in mind. That is, you have to completely install all the packages in this environment if you want to do something. This environment is disconnected from your global environment. Let me illustrate that. Now, what I will do right now, I will deactivate this environment. To deactivate this uh, environment, you need to de type de deactivate. Okay, deactivate. 
Now I deactivated this environment and I'm back in my base Python environment. Okay, now from this environment I can also run Python 3, right? And you can see if I run Python 3, I'm in Python. So let's exit from Python. You can do it like this. And let's try to run our file, test one, from the base environment. That is, let's type Python 3 test1.py and let's see what happens. Aha! I'm able to execute the file. You see? I'm able to execute the file perfectly. Why is that? Well, this is because in my global environment, it ba basically better to say global Python environment that I'm currently running, I already installed NumPy by running pip install NumPy, right? And I installed NumPy so I'm able to use that package in the global environment. However, in my environment one, I didn't install that package, so I'm not able to use NumPy. Okay, now let's go back to our package, better to say to our environment, that is, let's source this file to activate our environment. Okay, now let's learn how to install NumPy package inside of this environment. To install the package, let's first do this pip install u pip dash capital u pip okay and then let's install numpy you simply install numpy by running pip install numpy and here it is that's it simple as that now let's try to run our file here we need to use python 3 so let's run and here it is we are able to execute this file from our environment and this is very important this is because we already installed numpy inside of this environment now now let's list all the packages that are currently installed in this environment. We can do that by typing pip list. And you can see very interesting things. We only have numpy, pip and setup tools. This is because we installed numpy, we installed pip and this is the standard one, setup tools. And that's it. And you can see the current numpy version. Okay, next to deactivate the environment we simply can write deactivate and that's it. Now, the last thing that you need to learn is how to erase the environment. To erase the environment, you can simply type rm-r, where dash r is a parameter for recursive erase, and you type the name of the environment folder. So what will happen over here? Python, or better to say Linux, will go recursively through the content of this folder and in every subfolder it will erase all the files and all the subfolders recursively. So let's run this and let's see now our environment doesn't exist. Then let's go one step back, let's go to our home folder and let's finally erase test1 to clean everything. Okay, that's it. Okay guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.